Hello everyone, today is the day to get energetic, to get in the gym, and to just crush it. We are one day closer to our goals, we're going to get there through the ups and the downs, we just got to keep on striving and to keep on making progress, whether it's small or major, we are one day closer. So what we're doing today is, we are using the reverse hyper the most underrated tool in the gym and first what we did was the regular reverse hyper getting blood in the lower back because my lower back is still a little you know a little tender and right here not sure where i've seen this workout at but i've done it before and this is a great exercise on hitting the posterior chain all you want to do is use the um tricep bar and you want to do a hip hinge and you want to just squeeze your glutes i'm telling you you will feel it and right here kettlebell swings just another hip hinge exercise squeeze the glutes at the top and right here we are doing hip flexor kettlebell raises we are just focusing on right here, just activating the hip flexors, not going extremely heavy. We're just getting good blood right there in the muscle because um, hip flexors is a great exercise. Well, it's, it's, it's just one of those muscles where it's great for explosiveness. So whenever you want to run, jump higher. You know, you're going to activate your hip flexors. So I'm always working out my hip flexors, whether it's light or heavy, which you don't really need to go heavy on hip flexors, although everything is a choice. And right here, we are going right back to this exercise again, the reverse hyper, except we added another 45. So we have six 45 plates on there and we're only doing seven reps so getting some good blood in the lower back and also when you do this you want to squeeze your glutes at the top as well because it's a great exercise for the posterior chain right here going back with the tricep rope kind of let it move a little bit get the pendulum going and all you want to do is just focus on the hip hinge Whenever you squeeze right there, squeeze your glutes. It kind of look like you're rowing, but you're really not rowing it. You're just using the pendulum and you're just focusing all on the glutes. Right here, it's the same movement. Same movement, except right here we're using a kettlebell. So, we're just squeezing the glutes. And I'm telling you, my lower back and glutes has a pump especially my lower back it is serious so right here hip flexor kettlebell raises just going through the motion and all i'm gonna say is this you know rehab is going great just got to rest and recover and i'll be back not just gonna stop the the game train you know we may fall down nine times. We're going to get up on the tenth time. You know, we just got to have a great mindset. And also, there's a lot of things where we just need to back off. We can go so hard to the point where our body is going to have to recover one way or another. You know, we may not want to. We may want to think about what we used to do when we were younger. Although, reality will always strike because we are not getting younger but at the end of the day you always want to keep going hard and be smart about it right here donkey kicks right here we just focus on swinging the pendulum and then we're going to activate it get some good reps right here just seven reps on on each side you know good exercise for the glutes and um you know we're going to get back. We're going to get back to where we were at. And this may sound crazy, but like 
I always come back stronger whenever I rest and recover. You know, it, it always feels like, you know, more is better. But, you know, I just need a rest. Everybody, let's be great. Let's keep working. Always strive to be the best you could be.